So we have some exclusive Pixel Fold news and the reports of this device's demise seem to be greatly exaggerated as the latest evidence we've discovered hints that Google's Pixel Foldable is set to look more like the Oppo Find N rather than the Galaxy Fold. So with this evidence in mind, let's dive in. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and then tap the bell icon to be notified about all our future uploads. For over a year now, we've been tracking the development of Google's first ever foldable Pixel phone. And over the course of that time, it's gone by two separate internal codenames. First was Passport, and more recently, the bird-themed codename Pipit. While the final name is far from confirmed, for the sake of simplicity, let's just call it the Google Pixel Fold. Previously, we told you that the Pixel Fold may have a downgraded camera setup when compared directly to the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, both of those being flagship devices, we're now though able to directly confirm that the Pixel Fold is set to feature the same Google Tensor GS101 chip found in the Pixel 6 series. And that probably doesn't come as too much of a surprise, but the Tensor chip itself is still very capable, although superseded by newer chipsets from the likes of Qualcomm. This of course means it also includes all of those neural core bonuses with faster image processing and on-device language processing too. At least we can expect solid performance from the Pixel Fold all around to mimic the experience that we're seeing from the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. But it is also worth noting that that camera setup is set to use the same 12.2 megapixel Sony IMX363 sensor, which has been used since the Pixel 3. And that is gonna be joined by a 12 megapixel IMX386 sensor, which we are expecting that the Pixel Fold will use as the ultra wide camera. The selfie camera is expected to be rated at eight megapixels, courtesy of the IMX. 355 sensor at the front. Late last year, reports had indicated that Google was canceling its parts orders for production of the Pixel Fold, suggesting that the device wouldn't reach the market at all. However, we now have reason to believe that development has continued wholesale. In Android 12 L Beta 2, which has just been released, after digging into the actual code of this build, we've discovered brand new animations that depict how to insert a SIM card into a foldable device with a G logo attached. They appear similar to the animations used when setting up a Pixel phone today, during the stage when the phone asks for a SIM card to be inserted or an eSIM to be activated. More importantly, the code for this animation makes reference to the Pixel phone's Pipit codename, which is probably the most important aspect here. Before we go any further though, it is important to remember that these are animations after all in a pre-release version of Android, and it's still more than possible for Google to alter these or remove them entirely before launch. Simply put, we're still saying take these with a grain of salt, even though we're quite certain that this is some sort of indication of a Pixel Fold on the way. With that in mind, let's check them out. So this first animation shows a folded device that's somewhat stout in its shape with an obvious volume rocker on the right hand side. On the left, we can see what looks to be a hinge while the SIM card tray is mounted to the bottom of the chassis. And we believe this animation is depicting what the Pixel Fold's smaller outer display will look like. Meanwhile, the second animation that we found depicts the same device in its wider unfolded state. Along the top and bottom, there's a small divot where the hinge is located with this new view with the same SIM installation process also being shown. And we can gather that this is the SIM card tray and it is located on the same half of the phone as that external display. This is also seemingly done on the Oppo Find N. Unfortunately though, none of the Pixel Fold's other port or button locations are revealed through this GIF. What jumps out to us the most about these likely Pixel Fold related animations though, aside from the fact that they strongly suggest the Pixel Fold is still in active development, with animations being added between Android 12 L, Beta 1 and Beta 2, is the actual shape of the device depicted here. Up to this point, many have been expecting Google's Pixel Fold will be akin to the Galaxy Fold series in its size and shape, with a roughly 22.5 by 18 aspect ratio, and we did that too. Instead, these new animations show a Pixel Fold that is visually similar to the recently released Oppo Find N Foldable, which is exclusive to China, and that comes with a nearly square 8.4 by 9 aspect ratio. With a careful bit of measurement, we believe the depicted device roughly has a 7 by 8 aspect ratio for its inner display. And in comparison to the Oppo Find N, which features a 7.1 inch in a display, the Pixel Fold was originally rumored to have a 7.6 inch in a display, so that 
kind of seems to fit quite nicely here. After using the Oppo Find N for quite a little bit of time at this point as well myself, it's easy to see that this design has quite a few advantages when using the larger inner display, particularly as more apps are immediately recognizable as wide enough for a tablet interface, rather than simply scaling up the phone oriented design, which we see on some other foldables out there. Similarly, multitasking is just a bit more comfortable as each app has more horizontal room for you to work with and utilize. With any luck, this design would differentiate the Pixel Fold enough from the Galaxy Fold series, leaving room for Samsung and Google's respective foldables to kind of coexist in the market. But of course, time will tell. Now you've had a glimpse at the design, we want to know what you think about this proposed Pixel Fold design. Is it hot or is it not? Hopefully you did enjoy though this look behind the curtain at what Google potentially has in store for us in the future. As always though, leave a comment down below what you're thinking. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.